Hi guys, I decided to make this video to show the variable frequency drive that I'm using on my knife grinder and to show why I believe this particular one is a superior product to the old uh, popular k -back. Now, this is made by the same company, KB Electronics, and this particular one is a uh, KBDA291P. Um, I needed this one specifically because I have a 3 horsepower motor, I wanted to run it um, using 220. Um, so when I was doing the research, I obviously um, started looking initially at the KBACs. Now, after pricing the KBACs, including the reverse switch and the KBDA, I found that the difference in price was not that, that much. Now, the advantage of having a KBDA over a KBAC is the digital control. So with a KBAC, when you set it up, you have to um, make sure that you set the trim pods correctly and there's nothing on the front of it suggesting um, if you're running into any errors, there's a couple of lights there that you have to tell based on how many times it blinks and things like that if there are any voltage errors, any, any other overloading errors. Now this one gives you all the information. Plus, once you have it connected, any changes you want to make in the way it behaves, you make it from the front of it using the setup. Now, I know a lot of people like the uh, knob on the front of the K-Bac, and they say that's the reason why everybody goes to it. Now, this one has one as well. Now, it is not as big, so if the knob size is what gets your, your, your juices flowing, you probably want to go to K-Bac. Um, but this one can be set up in such a manner that you can actually control the speed using the knob and not the buttons. Now, the other thing that I really like about this is the fact that you can actually customize the unit of measurement. In, in this case, um, mine is set up in such a manner that it actually tells me the uh, surface fit per minute of, of, of belt travel. So, um, you know exactly what you're getting. It is fairly easy to control. I have my buttons disabled. I'm actually using the, the knob to control the control the speed. You also have forward reverse already in there. Like I said, you don't have to wire it. You don't have to buy another switch. You don't have to do anything else. Um, if I decide to change the way the uh, motor brakes once I hit the stop, I can modify it. If I decide to see the frequency, I can do that as well. Anything that I want to do, I can put. If I want to do from 0 to 100 speed, I can do that as well. Um, it is just as rugged, aluminum made. Everything is just the way as a, as a, as a K-Back. Just the front of it is digital. It allows you a lot more, uh, um, a lot more options. You can customize it, as a, customize it a lot easier. Plus, once you close it, like I said, if you want to make changes, you don't have to take it apart and play with trim pods or anything like that. So there are some definite advantages to this. Plus, when the price is so close, it was a basically a no-brainer. So, my personal opinion, this is by far a superior product. Um, if the if if it was a hundred bucks more than uh, than a K back, I would I would understand. But in order to save, you know, twenty bucks or thirty bucks, it's definitely not worth it. It's better to uh, to go with a superior product because this is not one of those things that you buy every day. It's it's a it's a piece of, uh, piece of equipment that you will hold on for years. You may change your motor, but this thing should last you, uh, you forever. So um, hopefully this helps people that are, that are wondering if they should go with one or the other. Um, I know some people, some people have, uh, have started using these. I'm starting to see them a lot more on YouTube and, and, uh, and in, uh, in videos on, on other sites. Um, but the k back is definitely still king. So... If you were uh, wondering if you should choose one or the other, I will definitely say that I will endorse the KBDA over the KBAC simply because of the amount of features that you get um, with this device that are not possible with a KBAC. So hopefully this helps you make a decision and uh, make the purchase.